Okay, for this video, I wanted to cover the IRS's adjusted HSA contribution limits for the 2023 calendar year and tax year. So just a bit of high level background, what are HSAs? HSAs are health savings accounts. And these are accounts where if you as an individual or family put money into the account during the year, you are allowed a tax deduction for the amounts you put in in arriving at your adjusted gross income. So it's what we call an above the line deduction. Why does that matter? Well, because when you pay for medical expenses, generally they are just itemized tax deductions. Um, and they're also subject to a very high floor, right? So you have to have a lot of uh, medical expenses and you have to itemize your tax deductions to really get any benefit for your medical costs. With the HSA, it doesn't work that way. The money you put in, whether you spend it or not, is a tax deduction in arriving at adjusted gross income. So it can be a very, very useful tax planning tool. And then, of course, uh, you get a debit card basically for the account. And anytime you do have medical expenses, you can swipe that debit card. The money comes out and there's really no t tax impact for you. OK, so now let's talk about the uh, limits. Well, the IRS, they adjust these limits every once in a while, and generally it's for inflation, right? So it's in, for inflation, it's supposed to account for also just rising medical costs broadly. Um, so the IRS last month, uh, they released uh, RevProc 2022-24, and this is where they have the updated numbers for 2023. So it's 2022 uh, currently, right? So we're talking about what are going to be the contribution limits for next year, right? So if you put money in within the 2023 calendar year. So here are the adjusted limits, right? So we have the contribution limits for individuals. Self-only coverage is going to be 3850 So generally, you can put in $3,850 into that HSA and get a deduction for the same amount, okay? Now, if you have a family coverage plan, um, so if you're uh, married, so you and your spouse are covered on the same plan and you have uh, children, let's say, the amount that you could put in is $7,750. And previously, it, it's $7,300 for 2022. Now, I know a lot of you are looking at this and saying, wait a minute, it, it's an increase, sure, but a nominal one at that, right? Uh, inflation... Uh, as of June 2022 is, is out of control right now. There's rising cross, basic rising costs across almost every sector in the U.S. But, um, you know, hopefully maybe they readjust it, right? They're, they are permitted to issue another rev proc and adjust that amount. So if costs continue to go up uh, before the end of the year, maybe we'll see another adjusted amount, right? Maybe they might up that again which would be helpful. Um, okay, now again, in order to use the HSA, you have to be on a high deductible plan, right? So that's, that's the other uh, qualification here. Not everybody that has health insurance can use an HSA, right? In order to be able to use an HSA under the tax rules, you need to have a high deductible health insurance plan, okay? So if you're unsure about um, whether you qualify Talk to your insurance provider, ask them, is this a high deductible plan for purposes of the HSA? They should be able to tell you this information, okay? All right, so that covers it for this video. Um, you know, pretty straightforward. I do have another video where um, I show people how to report HSA contributions and withdrawals on the return. I'll put a link to that below. Um, if you have any questions about HSAs, uh, high deductible plans, coverage issues, inflation, whatever it might be, please leave me a comment below. I try to answer as many of these questions as I can. And as always, I, I thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you again on the next video. Take care.